Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Monday Morning Cup of Mo. I'm Mo, I'm Michael Mowbray. I'm a photographer based out of DeForest, Wisconsin, a little bit outside of Madison. Uh, doing a weekly show, or we delayed it a little bit this week, so I get a little extra sleep in here on the holiday week. Um, hope you're all having a great holiday season. Hope, uh, hopefully Santa brings you what you need or what you deserve. Uh, anyway, today we're talking about uh, funky tools that photographers can use. We like, you know, photographers, we like our toys, right? I mean, it's half the reason why we become photographers, because we get to play with toys all the time. So lighting toys and camera toys and little accessories and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's fun to find something new just to kind of break out of the old mo mode that you're always you know doing the same thing over and over again. So um, I'm always looking for new ideas, you know, new ways I can uh, new ways I can do things, new tools I can add into my whole repertoire to uh, try to create new stuff. And I stumbled upon this uh, this thing last year called the Light Blaster. Um, I think it's lightblaster.com. I wish I had a way, I, other than holding up little cards, you know, I wish, wish I had a way to give you guys uh, some of these web addresses and stuff. So you can watch it on the replay if you missed it. Anyway, um, so it's called the Light Blaster. And what the Light Blaster is, is kind of a cool little projection system. And it's based on a speed light, this Light Blaster thing, and, and attaching a lens. And let me grab one here real quick. So you can see it. I've got a Molite 850 speed light in the back here the light blaster here, and then I attach a lens on the front. Now, what kind of lens can you use? A uh, wide angle lens is the best. Uh, lightblaster.com, thanks for looking that up, I appreciate that. Um, and they're around 100 bucks, maybe a little bit less, something like that, so check them out. Um, I recommend putting a wide angle lens on the front and gives you a little wider throw onto the background. And we'll show you our setup here in, in just a little bit. Um, talking about uh, how we're gonna do this, we're going to take just a really short break and then we're going to come back and shoot live. So i uh, give you a little bit of the setup here. But anyway, what this projector does is you drop in 35 millimeter slides that you can either buy from Light Blaster or do like I did and make some of your own. So you can make digital slides, basically create them in Photoshop and send them out to, uh, send them out to have them made. I should have just brought, hey, hey where's, my, where's my flashlight? One second, I'll be right back. There we go. You can see a little bit. Oh, that, that, that's not working at all. Oh, yeah, you can see a little bit of just some of these funky geometric patterns I'm creating. Okay, kind of cool stuff. Anyway, so and that's what we did for a fashion shoot last spring when I first got this to create this whole look. This is done all in camera, and that's what's kind of fun about this, and that's part of the challenge, is it's all done in camera. So it's not a lot of posts. We're not green screening this or whatever else like that. So it's kind of fun. Um, so we're creating a bunch of uh, geometric patterns. We're going to project those onto a white sweep background. And uh, we'll talk you through how to do some of that stuff when we get into the shoot too. Um, one of the really important things is because you're trying to project stuff onto a background, you have to be really careful with spill from your key light. Spill from your key light, spill, spill from your fill. Matter of fact, I usually don't use fill when I try to do this. Fill, go away, fill. Uh, as I don't want to spill any light onto the background and kind of mess up what I'm trying to project there. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I, I like the geometric patterns. You can put scenes on there. It's kind of fun. Um, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> um, every once in a while, I look down at the comments. Anyway, a um, little side thing here, a little contest for you guys. Whoever can give me the most hearts, the most love today, gets, ooh, wait, wait, wait for it, because it is the Christmas season, gets a free cup of Mo coffee mug. Okay, so whoever gives me the most hearts, come on, I'm looking for some hearts coming in. Whoever gives me the most hearts, and then we'll count them up later on, gets a free uh, coffee mug shipped to them. I'll contact you via Twitter. Um, and also, whoever does the most shares, there are the loves coming in. Whoever does the most shares on this, you can either share the live broadcast or you can share the replay. I will look tomorrow to see who did the most shares on the broadcast. We'll send you one of these things too. Um, I love these things. They've just got a nice balance to them. Pretty, pretty cool too. So coming back to uh, what we're trying to do, we're trying to work with different tools. Again, it just gives us a different look. If nothing else, because yeah, we could do some of the stuff in post. If nothing else, it gets you to think a little differently. It gets you to think a little differently during a shoot. And that's important as creative people. We need to mix things up a little bit, try new things, push ourselves out to the edge of the envelope. And uh, that's, where, that's where the cool stuff that happens. That's where the magic happens, you know. Um, that's what we're looking to try to do with a lot of this. So, again, light blaster is what we're going to do. Then I'm actually, you know, we're, we aren't going to do this as part of the live shoot, but I'm actually going to take a projector. 
Um, one of the first video projectors I had when uh, used for projecting things for clients onto the screen so they could pick out what they want. I still have it. I use it for uh, hooking up our Wii to <laughs> around the around the holidays. We hook up our Wii and we play Mario Kart like full size on a like a 10 foot white background. It's kind of cool. But anyway, I'm going to use that. I'm going to hook that up to my laptop and we're going to use that to project some patterns onto the background and also onto Aaron, our model, just to give her a different look. Now, we'll be looking for final images uh, a little bit later this week and we'll put those out on the website, which is, ready, michaelmowbray.com. We'll put a blog post out there. We'll have a recorded copy of this uh, replay so you can check that out. If you're interested in some of the tools that we're using, again, lightblaster.com is the tool that we're using to project everything today. Um, the lighting we're using is my GoMo boxes and my Mo lights. That's all at michaelmowbray.com. Just go to the store and you can check this stuff out. So we're going to get rolling here pretty quick. Remember, you know, free coffee mug for the most hearts today. Um, also for the most shares, whether you're sharing the live broadcast or you're sharing the replay, uh, we're going to uh, send you a coffee mug too. So we'll help sharing the love all the way around. Appreciate everybody who's been tuning in. Man, the feedback so far has been fantastic. Um, hope you're learning a little bit and hope you're having a little bit of fun with these broadcasts. Um, we're going to take just a really quick break and we're going to come back with the live broadcast and the live shoot uh, with Aaron in just a couple of minutes.